Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, this is our follow-up video to our last two videos uh, regarding the challenges of cash processing in Africa. We've done two previous videos in which um, we set up the scene by introducing the topic. We also presented uh, the level of cash production in Africa and the different uh, main areas of Africa in terms of production. Uh, we started off by talking about um, West Africa, uh, which is the powerhouse of cashew production in Africa, with countries like Ivory Coast, uh, the world leaders, um, Nigeria, Ghana, Benin, Guinea-Bissau, um, etc. You know, and then we discussed uh, Eastern, um, Southern Africa, um, with countries like uh, Mozambique, Tanzania, etc. So what we're going to be doing today is to discuss um, the main topic, which is uh, the challenges of cashew processing in Africa. Touch on eight main issues today. Okay, eight main issues today. Okay. Um, for those that are joining us, um, I'm going to put on the screen here uh, the topic of today, which is the challenges of cashew processing in Africa. Okay, so let's dive into it and let's start looking in the, into those uh, problems. All right. So first and foremost, um, I think the first main issue with cashew processing in Africa is um, the issue of uh, vision. Um, there was a lack of vision uh, on the continent with respect to cash processing. By vision, I mean um, uh, policies across the continent uh, from various African government. Um, I believe before anything can happen, uh, there needs to be a clear vision set by those in authority uh, because government has started to recognize cashew as a priority crop Okay, more and more policies are being put in place, uh, whether it's on a regional level or on a continental level. Um, so that's the first thing I believe was uh, a stumbling block to cash processing on the continent. The other thing that uh, I've identified is the, the issue of finance. Finance is a serious issue on the continent. Like in any project, you need to be able to finance it and uh, cash processing was lacking finance. And it still is an issue because um, the cost of finance is very high on a continent. I mean, talking to cash processors, if you ask them about the interest rates um, by the banks on the continent, the interest rate is very high. Um, the other issue we've noticed in Africa with respect to cash processing is the issue of manpower, qualified manpower. Um, that's uh, a, a, an issue, okay? Um, in order to support cash processing, once you have the vision in place, once um, you have the finance to back it up, you need uh, trained people, qualified people to support it. So manpower is crucial in this battle, in this uh, fight, in this ambition. You know, hopefully that can be addressed by having on the continent um, training facilities to train people locally. Because so far, um, processes have to rely on uh, people coming from abroad, uh, from countries like India, Vietnam, to support uh, personnel and, and manpower on the continent. Uh, hopefully, as I said, <clears throat> government can see how they can train people locally by setting up facilities, schools uh, to train people because <clears throat> without the right level of manpower, um, it will be difficult to sustain um, cash processing on, on the continent. The next set of um, issues, important issues um, that we've identified. The first thing um, is that um, Implementation took time to happen. In order to improve any process, you need to start. You need to implement. And once you've implemented it, um, you can then improve the process uh, and improve issues with the way you execute. And that is happening. Um, the other thing worth noting is the issue of technology. Okay, As a new actor, as a new processor, um, Africa started out manually 
okay the process of uh processing cashew on the continent started out manually because we need to move from a manual artisanal system to a more uh, advanced uh, use of technology make the continent more efficient in its uh, processing ability um so that's very important um in order to support that shift from manual to technological um investors will be needed um to support uh, the adoption of new technologies and hopefully banks and investors uh, can play an important role in supporting processing by um uh, providing the finance that are required. The other set of issues that we've identified, um, the next one is the volatility of uh, uh, raw material, the price of raw material. Unfortunately, that's the problem which is being faced by um, all the other actors. It will be a utopia to believe that um, price can be the same and consistent across um, the board, that's not going to happen. So it's, it's, a, it's a risk that I have to be... The other thing that uh, we have identified as a problem is the economy of scales. Many of the processes in Africa um, are small actors. And um, in order to be sustainable, there is a minimum amount that needs to be processed to make a profit out of it. So hopefully um, some of those small processes can come together the other issue is um, the availability of spare parts. As you know, all the equipment required to process locally are imported, are imported either from India or Vietnam. Um, and when they break down, there are serious issues to acquire spare parts. And again, that will be similar to what we discussed earlier, which is technology, okay? And the last key issue that we've identified is the low recovery of um, byproduct. Product is to be used to the fullest in order to make the most of it. And that's being done by the Indians, the Vietnamese processes. And Africans have to do the same. Otherwise, uh, it will be very difficult for them to compete. I'm going to show you uh, the first four that we discuss. Uh, first, the vision, uh, which is in essence, uh, the government's policies, which are now becoming a reality. And then we discuss the issue of finance, um, which is also an issue. We discuss the issue of manpower, have the right type of trained people, um, and then also the implementation. You have to implement it. It shouldn't be only a topic of discussion or a theoretical thing to discuss, but nothing happened. But implementation has started. It's a reality on the continent because we've seen a 40% growth over the past 10 years uh, with processing, which is um, something to note and encourage. The other four uh, things that we discuss, issue that we discuss, are first of all, the issue of technology and spare parts. Um, again, we already said what can be done to address it. Uh, we also look at the market volatility, um, which unfortunately there's not much we can do. But the fact that raw material is, is, can be found in abundance on the continent is an advantage in itself. And then we discussed the issue of economy of scale. Um, the, the African processor need to join force in order to, to make it sustainable, the business sustainable. And then the, the last thing that we discussed is uh, the issue of uh, low recovery of byproducts. So cashew is not only the kernel, these are the eight main areas that we discussed today. Uh, as I said, they are not. this is not an exhaustive list of issues. We can't discuss each and every single issues in this three minute video, it's not possible. Um, we just wanted to touch on some of those key issues. Um, there are many others. You can look at our previous videos as well. We made some previous videos on some case study on Ivory Coast, which is uh, a leader in Africa. Uh, I'll put a link below so you can look at those to have more detail on what Ivory Coast is doing to address the issue of cashew processing. There are many initiatives taken by the government and some incentive. Uh, in, in one of our previous videos, as I said, uh, you'll find uh, more detail, full detail in there. Okay, uh, Burkina Faso is also doing um, some effort there. Uh, countries like Mozambique also uh, are doing some really good work. Um, Ghana also, Benin. Um, yeah, so a lot of positive things that are happening on the continent and hopefully that can be, continue. 
And uh, as, a, as um, I personally believe that after Vietnam, Africa will be the next success story. You know, um, within 25 years, Vietnam was able to make it a reality and even overtook India as the main exporter, the first exporter of cashew kernel in the world, only within two decades. Africa will be the next success story because Africa has the advantage of having a huge amount of cashew processing on the continent. Each year, Africa produces more than 1.7 million tonne of cashew, of raw cashew. So once you have the raw material in place and you have access to raw material, um, is you just need to push a little to embrace the, the um, processing. And once you do done that, um, I believe that uh, over the next five, two decades, 25 years, Africa will be the next success story. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. We wanna hear from you. If you have any uh, comments, uh, please do post your comments. We look, we, we, we want to hear from you. Um, we want you to be part of the community as well. So feel free to, to subscribe. Speak to you.